So in both 2015 and 2016, there were nearly half a million river herring that passed into the upper Mystic Lake, which represents uh, one of the top herring migrations in the state. If you go around coastal Massachusetts, it's mostly small brooks into ponds, and so that's why they were largely dominated with alewife, by alewife, and everybody talks about alewife and the blueback kind of get second. Here on the Mystic, there was a restoration project about six or seven years ago where the old dam here was taken down. There was no fish ladder on that dam. In the 2000s, uh, we had volunteers associated with the Medford Boat Club as well as the Watershed Association and just the community at large that helped out at what was known as the Bucket Brigade. And this was typically a Saturday uh, in May where volunteers uh, came to the Mystic Lakes Dam and uh, filled nets and buckets with river herring and literally hoisted them up and over the dam uh, to see the upper Mystic Lake with these herring. Uh, it was replaced by DCR with this new dam. They built a state-of-the-art fishway, uh, four-foot Daniel fishway. They built an eel ramp and we're seeing the run just increase year after year. So 2012 was the first year they got up here. 2015 we started seeing fish return and the year numbers just keep going up every year. And so in 2012, in partnership with the state, the Division of Marine Fisheries, as well as the Department of Conservation and Recreation, we were able to launch a new program called the Herring Monitoring Program. Uh, this program uses volunteers, approximately 80 to 100 volunteers, to track the herring migration as a citizen science project. And so each volunteer is assigned a one hour block of time uh, each week to come and count for 10 minutes at a time. Uh, that data is then shared with the Division of Marine Fisheries and it's an amazing wildlife migration that's going on in people's backyards and so we wanted to really bring this to many many more people and so to expand upon that we use technology as the obvious next step and we installed an underwater video camera here at the Mystic Lake Dam. Uh, the camera is motion censored though so it, when it, a fish passes it triggers it um, and it'll go for four seconds after the motion is detected too. So the video clips are usually no more than a minute. Um, a lot of times they're more like 20 seconds long. And you can see, you know, one, two fish, or you might see like 90 in, in one minute. It's really pretty impressive. So we're essentially streaming the migration into many more households. Um, and we're also working directly with schools to help the teachers implement curriculum that's related to the herring migration and the Mystic River. Uh, we have a wonderful intern, Emma, who is going into the schools to engage with the students directly. Some of the students have, when I ask them if they've ever been to the Mystic, they mention really different things, which I think is reflective of what the watershed is like. So some of them, their first reaction is gross. And others, their first reaction is, oh, that's where I swim in the summertime. Um, so I think that's important for us to keep in mind when we are trying to communicate um, to students is that they have really different experiences with the watershed. The students have usually never seen these fish. They don't usually know that they migrate um, in these waters. Some of them um, are aware of the predators of these fish, so they've eaten tuna or they've eaten bass, but the river herring are usually un unseen in their sort of imaginations. They're important for our ecosystems, both in freshwater, estuaries, true marine ecosystems. They're getting eaten by everything from raccoons to bluefin tuna. So the birds, the mammals, all the fish, turtles, yeah, you see snapping turtles eating these all the time. River herring are probably somewhere in the 70 to 85 percent, 65 to 85 percent of them come back to where they were born. I always say with river herring that it's not about intelligence, it's about persistence. Um, they, they are just very, very persistent animals uh, and it's very great to watch. So they'll really go over a lot of hurdles, these little silver fish. And it, it's a great struggle to watch and it's, it's really, for me, it's, there's a lot of admiration for them.